What is AI? Most people today would think of an evil computer like the Terminator or HAL 9000, hell-bent on hurting humans. In reality, artificial intelligence is a subfield of computer science in which the goal is to improve computers to the point where they could carry out tasks that would usually require human cognition. Artificial intelligence is in two different classifications, strong AI and weak AI. Strong AI are able to act as humans and have the behavior of humans, while weak AI work within set boundaries and are able to carry out tasks. Currently, there is no existing strong AI, but weak AI are very common. Weak AI can be seen as NPCs in video games and Siri on the iPhone. Right now, there are AIs capable of driving cars, designing complex structures, and solving complex problems. With today's advancements, it will not be long before AI are able to reach the level of intelligence of a human and possibly even surpass it. With some estimations that AI will surpass humans by the year 2040. One example of a time in which AI surpassed human intelligence is when Google's AI, Google Go, beat the world's grandmaster at the game of Go, which is one of the hardest games on Earth. AI offers more advantages than disadvantages. For example, in the white-collar job sector, AI would be able to improve the efficiency of white-collar jobs. White-collar jobs are the type of jobs that require may require a person to do clerical work involving entry and analysis of large volumes of data. These types of jobs can be most efficiently carried out by an AI since it has an analytical aspect. For example, it is easy for a weak AI to carry out analytical tasks and this would be great this would greatly benefit the workplace. AI can learn over a shorter amount of time and improve faster than a human can in a set task. If AI took over white collar jobs, it would raise the efficiency of workplace, lower costs spent on employment and related issues. This has already taken place in Japan. A company called Fukuko Mutual Life Insurance is replacing 34 insurance workers with one IBM Watson AI unit. It is projected that Fukuko will spend $200,000 to install the AI system and $128,000 per year on maintenance. According to a journal, they will save up to $157,000 a year. If nine, just nine, of the major New Zealand insurance companies did the same thing, they would, could save up to $14 million each year. The benefits here for the economy are great. Another benefit is faster service. A company using an AI system in place of people would be able to carry out a task in days that would take a conventional company weeks to carry out. The economic benefit of such a technology being used in New Zealand is numerous. In addition, with, with the rise of a technology such as this one, it would create many jobs in the engineering and programming sector. In conclusion, artificial intelligence offers superior advantages and is the logical choice in the white collar sector. Thank you.